My name is Mary Jane Charles and I'm glad to say that I've been healed from a disease called lupus. Um, after numerous hospitalizations and doctor's visits, I um, am so thankful to have learned that diet uh, made such an improvement in my condition. Um, it seems so simple yet and so easy, yet at the time it was very frustrating for me while I was going through it. I had numerous problems involving joint pain, almost to the point of uh, no body mobility. I had constant migraines. I was on several medications at the same time. I um, had headaches, nausea, I had fibromyalgia, they tell me my, my skin hurt to touch. I felt lousy and like I had chronic fatigue syndrome. As I laid in bed finally in March of 1998, I remember distinctly realizing I can't do anything for myself. My husband, who I'm so grateful for, had um, to do all the work. I ended up moving in with my parents. I had an infant and a three-year-old at the time. Wasn't able to take care of them at all because I couldn't get out of bed. Regardless of going to doctor after doctor, I felt like I was getting just sicker and I, I knew this was not the plan. I knew this was not right for me. And the whole time just praying, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? Tell me, show me the way because this is not the way. And um, eventually after I was diagnosed with lupus, the doctor said, yes, you have 19 of the 21 symptoms. It's definitely lupus. We need to start the medication now. And leaving the hospital, I had really no choice, but I knew if I did the medication, I don't know if I'd be here today, quite honestly, because I think I was way too weak to do that. And I called my husband, who was out of town at the time, and we, we just cried. What is it? I'm desperate. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Lord, tell us what to do. And, you know, just hearing him sobbing on the phone, we had many days like that. Um, because life, your, your life comes to a standstill when a family member is sick like that. And not knowing from one day to the next, how much worse is this going to be? And I remember him just, just crying and saying, I'm coming home right now. And he took two weeks off work to have to take care of me. Thankfully, a mutual friend of our family who is um, into alternative health um, invited me up to Indiana to um, to go through a treatment program. I distinctly remember being blown away after the third day of just just a simple diet change uh, which would involve raw foods and, and vegetables. And looking back now, it's, it's amazing. Why, did, why could I not have done this earlier? Why didn't someone show me this earlier? When I went through the detox, I was amazed at how much um, energy I had from before, from the months before. If you don't really realize that you're getting sicker month by month and you look back and you realize I can do these things now and I don't have to have a headache and I don't have to, to feel nauseated after I eat and I don't have to have sore skin or painful joints. It's just like I've been given a new life and I'm so appreciative of that. George Malcolmus, who's a wonderful man, I was speaking in Nashville at the time and my husband and I went to go see him when we first were introduced to the Halloween diet and I remember sitting in the auditorium and looking around and seeing all these people who were very ill and probably wouldn't be there at the time and by raising our hands at each disease um, people raised their hand and said I've been healed and when it finally got around to lupus I could raise my hand with tears in my eyes and just say, I'm one of them. When people ask me, well, how did you do it? How do you, how do you feel so much better? I have to say, it's not by any drug. It's really not by any doctor. It's a lifestyle change and a lifestyle pattern. And basically, my family and I choose to eat raw fruits and vegetables as much as we can. We do have a few carbohydrates. Be not conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And if that means renewing your lifestyle and taking a second look to feel better and to live here and be here longer for his purpose, then that's worth it.